We need to lay all this out. Noah! Hey, how's tricks? We're doing fine here, Boliaris. And you? Ah, uh, same old, same old. Though we're not getting any provisions from home, so our supply guys are being run ragged. Any requests for us? I don't imagine you called just to shoot the breeze. <laughs> no. Good point. Got a bit of info to share with you. Yeah? Specifically, it's about Colony 5. Colony 5? I think... I remember something about them being pretty highly ranked. Yeah. We only happened to hear by chance, but apparently they made gold just the other day. Or so it seems, but we're not sure. Oh? Go on. Last time a colony went gold? I think it was about 40 years ago. When you go gold, you're pardoned from fighting. That's why everybody busts their balls trying to rank up. That sounds... Pretty familiar. Thing is, we're not even hearing a peep about this from the other colonies. It's as if they're acting like Colony 5 never existed to start with. I've tried getting in direct contact with them, but I haven't heard a fart back. You think something happened? Well, the woman in charge of Colony 5, or Solia, was close friends with our commander. With Athor? To give you some background, some two years after the commander got us to Silver, well, Solia managed it as well. Kamaravi might have been Ethel's rival, but Osolia and Ethel, they were sworn friends. What, so if it wasn't for the thing with Kamaravi, you all would have made it to gold rank? Eh, I guess you could say it was likely. Then I can see why you'd be worried. Yep, so I was thinking of going to take a look. It's been six days since we lost contact. If there's been some accident, we could still be able to help. Are you sure that's a good idea? You've got no flame clocks. What if you end up like us? We'll get the spark out of there before that happens. But I'm talking about Osolia here. I ain't just gonna leave her. And if the commander was here, she'd do the exact same thing. I, I really want to help out on this. Whoa. Uni. Seems out of the blue. Well, you see... What the... Why didn't you tell us this sooner? Gotta share this stuff. Sorry. I just didn't really believe it. So, what you're saying is... You think that in the past, you were attached to a gold rank colony? Could be. This ain't some ash about wanting to know my past self or anything. A whole colony just fell to pieces. I have to know why. You reckon Mobius have something to do with it? With what I saw, definitely. So that's why. All right. We'll help you out. No, uh, I mean, are you sure? You know, I'd be glad for the help here, sure, but I really wouldn't want... Oh, enough of this already. Tell me this isn't exactly what you were hoping for. <laughs> Saw through my clever ruse, eh? Must be losing my touch. <laughs> I've seen that memory too, when interlinking with uni. And I guarantee you, it was not a dream. I'm certain of it. True. I feel the same. What do you two think? No objections. Let's head out. Yeah. 
I want to lend a hand as well. There you go. Okay? Ah, I owe you one, mate. Seems like I'm always getting you in trouble. It's fine, Boliaris. We do have an obligation here, right? Man, not to forget all that food you gave us. Oh, yeah, I remember you took seconds. Righto. I'll be moving out after this. Let's rendezvous around here. The Orion Trail. Understood. We'll give our stuff a once over, then get going. All right. See you there. Yeah. See you. Noah? Friends make journey to Goldie Colony? Yep. That's the plan. Then, humbly asking to drag Manana along. No problem. But why? Manana heard rumorings. Say that Goldie Colonies have super real good ingredients lying around. Manana will take these ingredients. Resulting dishes will blow both socks and minds. Trying to expand the old repertoire. Eh, Manana? Expand! That'd be really great, actually. Okay. Don't know why I'd ever refuse. Manana, if you're going... Riku go. Naturalistic. Only answer is yes. I just said I won't refuse. We can all go. Something so valuable here. Hey there, you lot. Fast as a spark in Rogel. Well, we would hate to keep you waiting. Good man. So where's Colony 5? Easy. It's up on the Losca Plateau. Should see it once you've cleared the cave. What are we waiting for, then? This bloody Merc's giving me the creeps. Uni should cool jets. Guessing in tiz won't help. You'll be in a tiz in a minute. All he's saying is that we should play it safe, right? Correct. Especially if situation involve Mobius creeps. All right. I am actually trying to control myself. If I start going crazy, nudge me. Whoa. Where's the real Uni? I just don't want us dragging our feet, all right? <laughs> Spotted. 
Colony 5 should be just past here, huh? More enemies! I'll keep them occupied! Time to do the right thing, eh? We've got to be super cautious around here. Yeah, it's sparks, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Such is the Offseer's duty. Marks, considering their elevation, it can only be right. Only something as big as Ura Boris or Mobius could make these. Polyaris, right? Ethel's man. From Colony 4. Yeah, that's right. Then you guys... You couldn't be... Couldn't be what? No, can't be. You aren't friends with that monster, are you? With what monster? Thank the flames. Huh? It happened so fast. First the commander was promoted to gold, and the night after that, that thing came. You could tell it wasn't Agnian. Nothing native to these parts could tell at a glance. It was cackling, having fun cutting our friends to shreds. <laughs> Be Mobius. 
Has to be. Yes, but why attack Colony 5? We came to find that out, right? Think. Must be a reason. And the colony? How's Osolia? No clue. We were in such a hurry to save our skin. Scrambling for a place to hide. Then you guys showed up. Right. Well, she can't be all that far off. Shall we? Spark, yeah. And if any Mobius mudders are there, we mess them up. Yeah. Looking at these guys, they don't seem under Mobius' control. But that makes them targets we need to protect. No argument there. Who are you guys? You're working with Agnes. Once we're done here, I'll tell you all you want to know. It'll blow your mind. Okay, let's get a move on, eh? Before we do, we should escort these guys somewhere safe. Some of them are wounded. Ah, too true. Definitely don't want them in combat. How about the cave entrance? They'll be safe as castles. Cave entrance, huh? Yeah, that'll work. I, um, we owe you. to me. Um, these weren't here before, were they? They weren't. Have they been drawn by the husks, maybe? This was a nice find! Come on, who else? Let's sort this mess out.
I expected. I'd say we were moving in sync. Right, Tyon? We're almost out. Yeah, once we get out of here, we should be safe for a while. You lot sit tight here. We'll press on to Colony 5. Thanks. It's really us who should be going, but... How can we ever thank you? These guys are doing all the fighting. Thank them. I'm just along for the ride. Oh, cheers. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Anyway, you just leave finding Orsolia to us. Oh no, almost empty. There really can't be a lot of soldiers left. You killed her. 
I wish I'd known you were paying a visit. I'd have found a much more practical use for this thing. You... you're... <laughs> you can call me X. And this is... Well, he's just some underling, so I don't actually care. Anyway, I count myself lucky. I mean, you popping up while we render judgment. A judgment, is it? Oh! Do they actually work it out? Work it out? Oh, what? You didn't? Way to get my hopes up. I thought you came because you worked out what's going on with the colony ranks. With the ranks? Yes, the ranks. You've been so desperate to raise them. Just for a bit of comfort, you snatched away the lives of your enemies. Are you gonna get to your point? Come on! Oh! Are you some kind of idiot? I mean, I've laid it all out for you. Just think a minute, it'll come to you. Snuff off! Ah. Oh. I'll make it so you dopes can understand. Are you ready? Taking notes? It was us who made up all the colony ranks. Good old Mobius. <gasps> what? First we have the lowly dirt, then there's tin. Tins go up to copper. Then you get iron. After that comes steel. Then you get the badass silver. And finally, you've hit the top gold. You've been falling over each other, trying to kill each other day by day. <sighs> but why? What did you even make the ranks for? Because what else is going to motivate you, eh? What? You humans, you need some kind of goal in your little lives. You want to give your blades an upgrade? You want to eat some nice food? Or you want to live longer? You evil! All we did was give you those goals. And while you're trying to rise up, your life force grows brighter! So shiny! Isn't it wonderful? But then, once you've reached the top, there's nowhere to go but down. And that's no good, is it? Then it's harvest time. One last gasp of defiance. Then we take what's stored up at your life's end. So then, you're saying the gold rank's nothing but a sham? I just told you, it's to motivate you. Oh yeah, you motivated us real good. You forced us to fight without ever knowing the truth. Huh? What are you even... You've done a good job tearing the place up yourselves. Nobody's ever forced you to do anything. You guys, you like a spot of murder as much as anyone. There's nothing to like about it. How could anyone like it? We live in fear, knowing nothing but fighting. We wanted to reach gold, so we wouldn't have to fight. But you... You took even that from us. Because you're idiots, surely. Just think about it real hard for one second. Who gave up the right to think for themselves? You did. What a load of crap! You're the ones who never left us any room to think about our actions! You haven't got two neurons in your heads. All you have are the things we gave you. And you have the gall to complain? <laughs> Arthole! You ain't getting away with this! How can our lives be so snuffing little to you? Uni! She just goading Uni to make feathers ruffled. Keep it frosty! But she's... False. She's scared of Ouroboros. She wants mistake making so she can give friend the finisher. You think she's scared? You smart cookie, aren't you? I was told Nopon aren't supposed to interfere. Maybe they were wrong. Well, whatever. It messes up my plans just a little. But I think it's about harvest time. I'll 
take every last spark. Isn't your place You want to have way in it. Oh, oh, wait, that's right. Right. The spark in me. Uh, couldn't keep them in check. The light's down. Everyone. Needs left. I'm sorry. I'll get you off in a sec.
you're starting to get the hang of this. Killing Mobius and all. Cheers for the compliment, but I'll tell you one thing. I ain't doing this because I like it. I'm just doing this to survive. You don't change. You're still just a grunt. You're desperate to kill, just because you're afraid of dying. That's where you're wrong. This isn't just for me anymore. A lot of people's hopes are riding on this. So now I ain't afraid. I'll carry these hopes as far as I can until we've made the world how it should be. Oh, well said. All right, how far can you take this? Guess I'll wait and see. Oh, look! Just can't wait to escape, can you? <laughs> well, of course. I'm a busy girl, after all. Can't spend all my time playing with you. Bye bye What's it all been for, eh? All of our fighting. We struggle on and on. But at the end of the day, it never ends. As long as we live, all we can do is fight on. That's not going to change. You're saying there's no escape? Depends how you look at it. Sourcing ingredients and growing crops. You'd call doing those things a struggle, wouldn't you? You say some weird stuff. Fight, struggle, they're just words. And what's important is not the words, it's what you do. In it, what's inside's the most important thing. You know, I think I'm starting to get it. I've got you, Ethel, and all the others to thank for it. So, you're not afraid anymore, then? We're the same as everyone else. We're not perfect. Even now, we still feel fear from moment to moment. And still, you'll go on. Yeah. We want to make sure we'll walk the path we want to, just like Ethel once did. No matter where it goes, right? 